Hello guys. Hello. Got crazy here. And another Beyond the Realms video. Imagine that. <laughs> Damn. I don't know. I guess I'm semi out of retirement now. Yeah. Sitting out. Nice, beautiful, beautiful weather. Day. But yeah, so today we're going to talk about The Final Interview, which is the latest film from Fred Vogel and Scott toe Swan. Tag. And Yeah, but it's not a toe tag film, which um, is quite different. Yeah, right? very different. Yeah, and uh, how this all came about is yesterday was my 40th birthday. And, Happy birthday. And, oh, thank you. <laughs> and uh, Fred sent me a text like, man, I'm going to let you check out my movie for your 40th birthday. You know, it's a big birthday. So I'm like, wow, damn, that's awesome. So we were able to sit down today and check out the final interview. We just got done with it. So yeah. what do you think about it, Crazy? It is an amazing movie. Totally different film from Fred Vogel and crew, mm -hmm. for sure. And you will notice that right away from the very when you beginning. see this film. Um, now, as far as plot goes, it's it's hard to talk about this too much and, you know, not spoil things if you yeah. go too far in depth. But uh, you want to just give a basic rundown yeah. of the plot? Okay, yeah, this um, inmate, this convicted killer, Darius Tidman's, uh, it's his night for death row the execution, execution day, day. Yeah. and and uh this uh reporter oliver ross is, from the ross perspective is going to interview him on for this final interview for you know the world to see yeah he's basically darius is basically going to tell his story and it's live on tv and mm -hmm. um yeah i mean that, that that's really <laughs> that's a, it that, how what all you can say on yeah. this i mean that and you know, the trailer conveys that, too, if you've seen the trailer. But honestly, when you talk about it, you can't really say much more than that than without that. spoiling too much. Mm -hmm. But there is a definite depth to this movie. You know, mm -hmm. and, and like I said, it is totally different from what we've seen from Fred Vogel before. And like I said, it's not a toe tag film. Mm -hmm. You won't see the toe tag banner on this film. It's This is a different animal. It's a different beast. And, you know, like I said, with the opening credits, right away, you know this film is going to be different. It has, by far, the most professional look, sound, acting, everything that Fred has done thus far. Oh, you know, yeah, right? absolutely. I mean, this is a film, mm -hmm. no doubt, you, you could see in a theater. You know, like yeah. a, a wide-release type film. Like, it is that quality of a film. It is. You know, just the look of it, the, the amazing, and the, and the, the score oh, just works it's so phenomenal. It's it's got Gosh. a real suave, jazzy. jazzy score to it, you know, throughout. it's With old, real instruments. Yeah, all real instrumentation on this. Um, Diane Franklin is also in this. Many, many of you remember her from uh, several 80s films. I remember her most from, uh, I believe, Better Off Dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Fred actually got her out of retirement for this movie. And uh, she does a great job. She's awesome. She, she's the the director of the of the Ross, news station, yeah. Uh, or yeah, the, the, the Ross, Ross perspective. perspective. Yeah. So uh, yeah, she's she's piped in to Oliver's uh, ear as he's doing this interview. So you've got her, you know, coming and going, and dialogue in there, and it cuts to her a lot of times. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, I mean, it's you know, and the thing that's hard with this movie is classification, right? Yeah. Oh I mean, my gosh, how do you describe this? Because uh, his, uh, Todag and Fred Vogel's filmography is all horror. Very, it is. Yeah, it's and horror. very, very visceral in your face. Of course, you know, if <laughs> yeah. you've never seen Todag's films, I'm sure you at least know the reputation, especially with the August Underground films. And this is absolutely nothing. Polar like opposites. Those. It's you know. And, you know, we also had to bring up, this movie is extremely dialogue heavy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the scenes in this, the locations are awesome. Authentic. Uh, prison, authentic, real prison uh, shots and everything. But this movie Man. movie primarily takes place in a room with the character of Ol Oliver guys. and Darius talking. Mm -hmm. And, you know, right away, I'm sure some people are probably thinking, oh, man, you know, I don't want a dialogue-heavy movie. But, man. but it's the, ten the intensity that builds the throughout tension. this. Yeah, and what they're saying is very Important. intriguing. Yeah, and it, and it draws yeah. you into it. And, you know, I guess, you know, it, you definitely would say this is drama. And mm -hmm. sorry for the loud cicadas here that's probably drowning <laughs> me out. But, um definite drama a psychological horror psychological too. horror thriller i mean yeah I, that's it's the like best you pour way all this in a pot mix it up 
probably have most uh, ingredients being drama. I yeah, would say. the absolute and most. You, and you would have this film, but there there are definite horror elements to this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's I man. think past that, man, you can't really you can't. say a lot. But we were both highly impressed with this Extremely. film, and, and it's you know it'd be easy to say you're biased. You're you're friends with Fred. You've been in one of his movies. Honestly, guys, no this. It's a different type movie, man. I mean, I think this is a movie you could show to, to anybody and... Anyone, and even not a horror fan. Not it, well, horror exactly, fans. Exactly, yeah. And that's what's great, too, because it has a wide range where anyone can watch this and, you know... Yeah. And, and accept... Well, accept, I mean, you know, I you have to... You, it, but you have to understand the dialogue. Of the, you have to want to invest in... Yeah. what's going on with the and, movie yeah and but you know the thing is is it's it's not like you know they get there and then you, the movie's 90 minutes long it's not like it takes you know 10 minutes or whatever to get there and then you're watching these guys for an hour 20 no. minutes just talk there's good pacing with it there it's are parts pace. where it's broken up you know mm -hmm. the talking is broken up there are things that happen or situations that come up where you know it does keep a pace going and there's things that come up that you wouldn't expect to come up too yeah that, that are awesome you know that 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 um it just moves the pace of the movie along you know for yeah. such a dialogue heavy film um but yeah it's uh it's a character study that two of the, these two guys oliver study. oliver ross and <laughs> darius tidman yeah and, and also transformation it's also a good representation on transformation of character too. Mm, yeah you know, how characters can transform throughout uh a running time of a movie yeah. this is a good example of that um, but yeah, you know, if you're expecting visceral, gory horror, you, you probably will be disappointed, but don't let that sway you from seeing mm -hmm. this film if you just enjoy great filmmaking, mm. because it's, it's certainly a step up for Fred Vogel as a filmmaker. Oh, you know, absolutely. I, I think I always thought Cell was a, was, a, was a good step up from what he had previously done. It showed growth and I respect him for not just jumping right in and making another movie right away because it's been how many years seven seven years since he had made a film when he easily could just could have just turned out a another film year after year and they would have sold just off of his name and toe tags recognition yeah and respectability alone but i respect him that he didn't do that he took his time and although this film did end up coming together quick and it was opposite it wasn't the the thing he project he was working on at the time this one came up he did it it's still it's it's the right progression though yeah you know, it, you, you're not he wasn't just jumping in oh let's just do this you and know, it, it wasn't hastily thrown the, it, it 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 simmered and came together yeah. like a good stew yeah it, it, just the the filmmaking i oh, think is really gosh. progressed a lot beautifully I mean, a shot lot. i mean yeah. the dolly shots everywhere yeah. it's just it's so it's it's really like it. Uh, that is one of the best parts too. It's just so beautifully shot. Oh man, man, it's like got a warm uh, look to it. Uh, and, uh, incredible oh. professionalism all oh. throughout this film. No, Everywhere, no doubt about it, man. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. Oh so, yeah, gosh, I would say we both give a big thumbs up. Uh, but yes, to, to the final. See interview. this movie if you can. Absolutely. Yeah, and right now, you know, as far as distribution, uh, there's not a lot of word on that. You know, it's being submitted to film festivals and things like that. So. As of right now, it is hard to see. You know, it's like it's a film we're talking about. We're telling you to check it out. But we can't really tell you how to check it out right yeah. now. But it will be coming down along the line. That's another thing. He's not just jumping, throwing it on DVD. He wants to do other things with this. and Because it is, it's a different animal. It's a different beast mm. for them. So he's going about, about this in different ways. But you will see this film, trust me. And when it is available... I highly recommend checking buy it, it out. Yeah. Just it, buy it, see it any definitely just watch it. It is so worth it. If you if My you love God. great acting and good just, cinema. Good yeah, good cinema, good storytelling. Good storytelling. It, it's, you know, for such a dialogue heavy film, you know, if 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 the two lead actors didn't work, didn't, it wouldn't it, work. It, it, you know, if they didn't have a chemistry, it would have fell apart. And Granger Hines and Damien oh they, they do amazing. We didn't even bring them up. Or Damien. Damien Marusek. Yeah. He, he, they make magic. Yeah. And, and Damien has worked Man. with Fred several times. Mask, yeah. Head, Murder Collection, Sal Tursky. Yeah. And, and, you know, but just these guys, Gosh. their chemistry is unbelievable. The screen is just amazing. They just oh. they feed off each other and, and the intensity just builds as this film goes oh. along. 
Yes. Great stuff, man. Amazing. So. It, that that was a tr this was a treat seeing this movie. Oh, it really was, man. It was an absolute It was the best treat. birthday present <laughs> that, that Fred could have given me, and, and, and Crazy here got to indulge in it also. So. Yeah. Thank you very much, Fred, and uh, all the fans out there. Like I said, check it out, Just man, when you have a see chance. see it, absolutely. Yeah, I will keep you guys posted on its availability. And, of course, Fred Vogel and through Toe Tag and all that stuff on uh, Facebook. Facebook, yeah, there's, there's Instagram. The final interview. Uh, Toetag.biz. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah. you know, of course, going to be information shared oh, there yeah. on its availability. And if it, you know, gets... Um, you know showings in theaters or whatever ends up coming up but uh everybody will have a chance to see this eventually they're just they're just taking this uh, in a different route and uh and uh it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this film yeah. as more people check it out so that's it for now guys crazy thanks a lot man thanks. appreciate you joining me yeah Hope great to see you guys again. Crazy again and uh we will see you guys soon take care guys later